And I'll give you a little backstory to this. This is actually power lines near my house. Uh, we're about three miles from my house. It's pretty sweet. Um, this portion right here, I've never actually gotten across before. I tried on the DR650 and sunk like three feet at the beginning. And uh, it's been raining, I don't know, for like two or three days straight. So this whole thing is, I mean, this is, you know, marshy, like sink mud type stuff. And uh, we're going to go ahead and attempt it on the KTM 300. I got a three mile walk back to the house if I have to go get ratchet straps, but yeah, see like this here, it looks solid, but you just keep going and going and going. It's uh, this is going to be interesting. KTM is light. Um, power doesn't really uh, matter through this. Really need something light. And uh, from my mud hole and swamp riding experiences, you just uh, when you start to go, you just got to go. You can't uh, stop. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm kind of, kind of scared because I remember what happened to the last time getting the DR650 out. So uh, today's gonna suck if that's the case. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Don't stop. Keep going. See, that's what happens when you stop. You start to dig in. Keep going. That ain't good. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Yep. Um, not bad. Not bad. What really screwed me up was going around that tree. If I just would have went straight, I might have, might have been able to keep momentum going. So now we have the daunting task of getting momentum. And uh, there's absolutely no traction here. So like, let's give it a shot. Woohoo! All right. Uh, we've come up to somebody's, yeah. Okay, so that's somebody's field over there. We won't be uh, riding through people's fields. That's. That's screwed up. I know uh, people that uh, I know people that rely on uh, you know their farm to make money. So uh, we won't be disrespectful today and do that. That's that's a no-no. I say let's give that swamp another shot. Let's head back through there, and then I'll find some other little tricky spots around the area, and we'll go from there. Let's uh, yeah, <laughs> give us another shot. keep momentum this time. No, nope, it's slowing down. That's not where I wanted to be. Not where I wanted to stop. Um, hmm. Let's see what this bike's got. Break it loose a little bit here. Nope, just digging a hole. We'll get off and walk it. Maybe that'll help. Oh yeah, that helps. Walking through this part. Maybe I can get on it right here and get going. <laughs> there you go, that'll do. Alright, here's another spot that uh, I got the uh, DR650 stuck a while back. Everything is super slick today. Of course, like I said, it's been raining for uh, like two days straight. So all of the logs... They just, uh, if they're any kind of slanted at all, uh, they want to push you off. And of course, like I've said in the past, you know, best way to defeat those is standing up and give it a little bit of, a little bit of bump and power. So this is a right about where I got that uh, DR650 stuck. Actually, it is coming right through here. Let's go down a little bit and explore. And. Uh, See what we got. Theoretically, I should be able to cross that. Let me just get a, a better angle of attack. We're just going to go ahead and try to cross this here. 
stand up. Yeah, no problem. Didn't even have to give it that much throttle. Oh yeah, before I forget, um, I'm starting this new thing. I'm gonna be featuring people's channels if you are interested. Hold on. There we go. Nice little kicker there. Before I forget, I'm gonna start a new thing called uh, the featured section. So if you're a YouTuber, you got a channel, you ride dirt bike, four wheeler, dual sport, you do this kind of stuff, uh, edit me up a 30 second clip, send it to me an email, and I'll put them in each one of my videos. Uh, the only thing I won't, the only time I won't put it in one of my videos is if it's like a review. I'm not gonna like do a review and then put your video in it and then keep going. That's, you know, a little something separate. If you wanna be featured, email me, uh, th like I said, 30 second clip, no music. All right, let's, uh, let's keep going this way-ish. So it does stall out. Holy sh**. Not bad. Not as clean as I wanted it to be, but not bad. Alright, so this is going to be fun. I guess maybe, uh, depending on how this does is depending on whether I keep riding today or not. But this is where I ended up getting the DR650 stuck. Riding through this. Um, basically it's a sandbar. And you can sink a bike about two foot down. So uh, we're going to give it a shot with the KTM, see how it does. Not bad, not bad. Oh, not bad at all. Oh, Well, okay, so lesson learned. I should have just been riding a the KTM all along. 